All right, welcome to a stream avatar tutorial about the loot system. At first, I thought it was simply gold and items, but it's a lot more. It's simple, yet you can do a lot, and it can be pretty fun. So let's look at that. All right, so the loot can be used in the mini games, mostly the boss battle. You can get loot when you defeat a boss. You can get loot at the basketball game also, loot rewards, the battle royale, the duel, you can have a loot for that, and the jump catch star game, and that's pretty much it. Now let's look at the loot reward itself. Let's create a new reward. This is the setting window for the loot, and it's pretty simple. For the name, it could be something just to know where you're using it. So it could be star game, or it could be um, easy pumpkin boss. So you know the loot is going to what? The currency reward is pretty simple. How many currency you get? For me, it's gold. So yeah, if I put five gold, you'll always get five gold, no matter, no matter what happens, if you win. Reward per player. This is for, this is how many times it's gonna pick a loot. So if I create two items, or let's say three, and here I say two, so it's gonna pick two in those three loot item. And then allow repeat reward. So if I check that, then it's pretty simple. The same loot can be picked twice for, for here. So if here I would put five, then it could take five in those three. But if you don't check that and you have less loot item, then it's not gonna work. So you should always have more loot than reward per player. Now let's see the loot item itself. The entries is kind of like if you had a box and you put the loots inside of it. So let's say here I have five. So I would put five times this one and one of this loot. So then you pick one and you have a lot more chance to get this one since there's five in the box. That's kind of a simple way to see that. But yeah, the higher the number, the more chance you have to get it. Then there's the currency amount. It's pretty much the same as the one above, but it's going to be only if you get this loot. So here, if you put zero and here you, you can do like a uh, hundred and you had another one, which, on, which is only one, then this one would be more rare. So let's say 25 and this one, one. So we have almost 4% chance to get a hundred gold. So that's pretty much it. And then you have the comment and this is where it starts to be fun because here it, it's where you would add your items that you can loot. So gift and item, but you can also use any comment in stream avatar. So dance or hug, anything here. And then the message. This is what's gonna be displayed in the chat. And that's pretty much it for the setting of the loot box reward. It's pretty simple, but you can do a lot with this simplicity also. So let's say that you are going in your boss battle and you want to add loots to your boss. Now here there's the default reward. So by, by default, you're, you'll get 20 gold or 20 currency if you win. If your player wins, each player will get 20. But if you set a loot on your boss, this will not be uh, given to the, to the player. So if I go in my custom boss, let's go with the Pumpkin King, edit, and here there's a reward. So since there's none, they're going to get the default amount. But, but here, if I say create new... So here I did a loot box reward for the pumpkin. Easy. I'm not going to put any currency reward. A player will get one of these. So here you can loot a cap or a banana for your main hand. Or you can get with a lot of chance 25 gold. And if you want your player to always get more than one, you can change this to two. So now they're most likely to get gold and one piece of gear. So yeah, that's pretty simple how you would do a loot system for your boss. And now this is only the pumpkin easy. If I would like to do a pumpkin medium or hard, I could copy this one. So here in the menu, I can duplicate it. And now I can just rename this one. And now I can add more loot to this one. So I could add a legendary banana. So pretty simple. So pumpkin hard, save and pumpkin hard. So that's it for the loot for the boss. Now let's look at some more thing you can do with that. So, so I'm going to go back to the jump catch star game. And here I can remove the default currency that you get. By default, I think it's five and I'll remove the message. And here I'll create a new. Here you could add a lot of stuff. 
So yeah, here for the star game, I just added a bunch of funny stuff here and I added a lot of entries. So those are more likely to, to be picked. So mass bomb, it's going to be raining bombs everywhere. Mass explode, mass attack. And if you write, uh, yeah, this here, I should have told it earlier, but you can uh, get the name of the avatar that won. So yeah, everyone will attack the winner of the star game and you can force an action on someone. So this one will force the player that picks the star to ask someone random in duel for five gold. So that could be funny. And I have three that is just you gain gold. So this one here, you have 5%, almost 6% chance to get 20 gold. You have a lot of chance to get 5 gold. And it's really rare, but you can get the jackpot of 200 gold. So you could add a lot of stuff in here, like uh, everyone could get, to, could get gold. If you want everyone to get gold, it would be in a comment. Let's say I'll add one. I added this one. So this one will add gold to everyone, 50 gold. Everyone gets gold. Thank you. And it will say the name of the player. And yeah, so it's pretty much it for the loot box reward. You can get creative with this. If you have any question, let me know. And if you have some fun loot box, let me know. I'd like to know what kind of loot box you get, what kind of uh, function you will add to, the, to this. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and bye bye.